Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I'm going to do a troubleshooting video for a Carbonox smartwatches, and we're going to use the Carbonox Vortex for this troubleshooting uh, video. Uh, what to do if you may have some common problems that may appear uh, during operation or trying to operate your smartwatch. So we're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing that I want to get out of the way with this troubleshooting guide is a lot of the problems you may encounter are totally normal and not a problem with the actual smartwatch itself. Uh, so that's just one thing to make totally clear from the beginning. A lot of this has to do with uh, connections via Bluetooth and simple and easy fixes that we can apply to make sure that you don't run into those problems. Okay, so the first disclaimer from Carbonox directly is that our smartwatches are designed to withstand extreme conditions. That being said, they are not indestructible, and I have done several torture tests of various uh, Carbonox watches here on the channel. Uh, please do not submit your smartwatch to abuse tests if you're just trying to see exactly how tough it is. Uh, if you do, you will not be eligible for a warranty replacement. Now, this is pretty standard stuff. If you're going to try to run over this with a car just to see if it's going to survive and you happen to damage your smartwatch, it will not be covered under warranty. That's just uh, pretty standard stuff. If you're going to torture test your products, don't be expected to be covered under warranty. Now, of course, Carbonox will cover you if anything should happen through normal usage of your smartwatch. Secondly, uh, you can read SMS or social media notifications on our smartwatches, but you cannot reply to them. Adding this particular feature is very expensive and would dramatically increase the cost of our products. There are no smartwatches at our price point that have this feature enabled. And for the most part, or at least the, of what I know, there are no smartwatches in Carbonox's price point that will allow you to send messages, uh, either social media or SMS. So just keep that in mind as well. If they were to add those features, the cost of the smartwatch would be a lot higher than it is right now. You do want to make sure that you have the latest version of the app. You can go to the app and you can click on the bottom right hand side to the Me tab. You can then go to the About tab here and you can update the application. This will make sure that you have the most updated application for the best experience. Now, you must verify that you've granted all the permissions for the app. Also in the Me tab, you see a permission setting. Uh, and inside that there, you're going to see status bar notifications, calling permissions, location, address book, call log, camera permissions, uh, storage permissions. Uh, make sure that these are enabled or certain functions of your smartwatch will not work. If you do not have one enabled, you can click on it and then you can make sure that the Glory Fit Pro app is enabled uh, and you should be good to go. Now, also a big concern is making sure that your watch is connected in Bluetooth settings on your phone. To do this, and I have Android here, but it should be fairly similar for iPhone, is you just go to your Bluetooth settings and make sure that the Vortex shows up in paired devices. And as you can see there uh, in the middle of the screen, the vo Vortex is paired to my device. This is very important. If you lose your Bluetooth connection, then it can't communicate with the app and will not function correctly. 
Okay, so other things you can do. Reset your smartwatch to factory settings. You can go directly on the watch into settings, and when you go into settings, you can swipe all the way down to uh, settings tab, and then you can do uh, a system menu, and then you can reset your watch. And this will reset it to factory, so it's just like you're taking it out of the box. The other thing you can do is uninstall and then reinstall the app on your phone. Uh, sometimes the app becomes corrupted and needs to be reinstalled. So try to uninstall the app and then reinstall it fresh, log back in, and uh, rebind uh, your watch. Make sure that the Bluetooth on your phone is turned to on. Uh, if it's not, turn it on in your phone settings. You may have to just turn it, toggle it off and then toggle it back on to make sure that you get that connection. I know that sounds silly, but it does happen and it's a very quick and easy fix. Concerning Bluetooth, if you are more than 10 meters away from the phone, you may disconnect and may have to repair with the app. 10 meters is uh, the normal connection distance for Bluetooth, so keep that in mind. If you are more than 10 meters away from your phone, uh, the Bluetooth connection can disconnect, and you may have to either restart the app to repair it. Uh, not a big issue, but just something to keep in mind. If you're having network issues in your area, the smartwatch may disconnect from the app as well. So uh, again, maybe uh, turning off your phone, checking to make sure that you don't have any network issues, and then maybe restarting the watch and the phone should take care of that as well. Also, if you click on forget device, all of your settings will be erased and you will need to set up everything from scratch. Your watch will disconnect from Bluetooth and the app. Now, it's interesting because you can look at the GloryFit Pro app here and under device, we see a clear data. This is basically forget device. Confirm uh, to delete all history data on the app and the watch. This will f uh, basically factory reset the uh, data on the app and the watch. It will disconnect from Bluetooth. And again, you can also uh, check the details of this in your Bluetooth settings unbind or unpair, and this will disconnect the watch uh, from a Bluetooth uh, for getting it, and you will have to repair it again in Bluetooth settings. If your smartphone happens to run out of battery 100%, you may have to connect your smartwatch again in the app. If you don't give the permission to run the program in the background for the app, the device could disconnect and you may have to reconnect it again. This again can be found in permission settings in the app uh, and all the way down at the bottom you'll see setting of background running permission and you're going to want to make sure that you allow the program to run in the background. Again, you just click on that Make sure that GloryFit Pro is toggled on and you should be good to go. As for connectivity problems, again, it's very important to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your phone so that it can communicate with the watch. This can be done by just going to Bluetooth under settings on your phone and make sure that it is toggled on and the watch shows up in the list of devices. If you have application malfunctions such as problems with the app crashing or not functioning correctly, try clearing the cache on the app or uninstalling and reinstalling the app. Now on Android you can just hold down and either uninstall it uh, or you can go into the information, go down to storage and you can clear the data or the cache of the app itself, uh, in essence, resetting it back to when it was first installed. If you have problems with notifications from the watch not working uh, or problems with notifications not coming through on the watch, check the notification permissions in the app. You can see it's the one at the very top there. Make sure that that is enabled. Also, make sure that you have the app selected to give notifications. 
And this can be done in the app under the device tab and then app reminder. You can see that I can toggle on and off specific apps to uh, have push notifications sent from. So if I want Gmail to be on, make sure that that's on, Snapchat, Facebook, etc. So do make sure that they're on in both places. If you're having location and time uh, either not correct or accurate, uh, you can do two different things here within the app that I would suggest are uh, the biggest ones. Uh, under a unit settings here, you can see a time system, follow the system because it syncs up with the app. The watch uh, will have the correct time from the app to the watch. So make sure that that is connected as well as going in to permissions again and making sure that that one that says location permissions is definitely enabled here. If you do not have location permissions uh, enabled, uh, you will definitely have issues with location accuracy. Contact syncing issues. If you go to the address book portion of the app and import your contacts to your watch uh, from the phone, uh, and this is how it will show up on that screen, you can see there that we can select individual contacts or we can select all of our contacts and then we can upload them from the app to uh, the watch. You will have to go into permission settings and make sure that address book permission is selected under your permissions and it is enabled as well. Using sleep mode, uh, it can be activated in the app section of the watch and the results can be viewed in the app. Uh, to set up sleep mode, go to the apps and click on sleep and then you will have a uh, bedtime and wake up time that you should set here uh, so that the watch knows that this is your normal time to sleep. And what we're going to be doing is setting up our bedtime and our wake time. I have it 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. for mine. Uh, and then uh, you have a sleep reminder that you can set as well and sleep mode on or off. So if sleep mode is on, Raise to wake will be disabled. Incoming calls and notifications will be silent with no vibration. Uh, and it asks you if you really do want to turn it on. Once you do, you can now uh, check the metrics either directly on the watch or you can check the metrics in the app as well. Uh, they will show up on your homepage under sleep and tracking your sleep will give you a better insight on how uh, you are sleeping and how you may be able to improve that uh, as you go. The raise to wake function can be accessed in settings on the watch under a display and brightness. You can see there's a toggle there for raise to wake. Just toggle that on uh, and you can also do a uh, switch watch faces when you do that and there's another one for tap to wake underneath it as well so you can have all three of those on if you would like but that's how you enable raise to wake which means that every time you do uh, tilt your ha uh, hand backwards the screen will go off to help you maximize battery life only turning on when you raise it to face you. So that is a one way uh, to save battery life is to use the raise to wake feature. So this is the conclusion of my troubleshooting video for a Carbonox uh, showcasing the Vortex smartwatch. Uh, there are several different things that we've gone over today and most of these, probably 95% of these issues are totally normal. Disconnecting from the phone, uh, your Bluetooth connection, making sure that all of your permissions that are supposed to be set in the app are enabled. Uh, those types of things are uh, perfectly normal and very easy as you saw today to be able to take care of. Uh, I do encourage you if you have other issues that you can't sort out by yourself or with the help of this video to contact uh, Carbonox directly 
if further assistance is needed. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope that this troubleshooting guide has helped you out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.